Let me show you a trick about installing these older vintage type uh, two prong plugs. And you can see someone has done this one before. And if you get down in there and look, you can see how the wires, they actually did a pretty good job for this type of a, a deal. But the wires will fray and they'll stick out the edges and you can actually shock yourself with those. And they actually have got these in there uh, going the wrong way. You can see, like, this one's pretty easy to see. Give here. So this one, it comes in right here and it goes around the screw this way. And when you tighten it, that's the way you want it because it's actually going to draw the wire underneath the screw as you pull it. This one, however, it wraps like it wraps the same direction. So when you come in and when you tighten it, it's going as you tighten in the screw this way, that head's going to push that wire out from under there. So this wire should actually have been wrapped around this way. But I'm going to show you a way that you can eliminate this whole fray in part and make a much neater connection. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of our wire and we're actually going to solder on a little eyelet like this. And so to get our little eyelet, we're just going to cut it off the end of a crimp connector. You can't use the crimp connector, the whole thing, because you would never get it into the space that you need right here. You want to just solder the ring onto the end of it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, like I said, you can just take this, wrap it, and just wrap it around there. And just be careful how you're wrapping it around. But I'm not here to show you the easiest way. I'm not trying to show you the cheapest way. I'm just trying to show you what I think is the best way. To do this. You also want to put some, some kind of thing in here to keep it from being able to be pulled back. And in the past, what people would do is they would knot this wire. Now this wire is, is pretty good size. It's going to be hard to make a knot that you're going to get to go down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zip tie on here and put it on there really tight and that will keep it from being pulled back through there. Now we're going to put a zip tie on here and that's going to keep it from being pulled back through the plug in case somebody trips over this cord or something. You want to get it on there just as tight as you possibly can. Pull on it and make sure you can't slide it off of there. And we're going to nip the end off. Let's see how that fits. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. And you can't pull it out. So, Okay, so now we're going to get our wires to be the right length. We're going to strip off just a little bit of the end. To get that ring, we're going to cut it off of a crimp connector. We can't use the whole crimp connector because it won't fit inside of here. So we bite off that part and we're just going to solder to this part right here. And it takes a pretty good size soldering gun. I'm using a Weller. It's an old one. It's got a lot of zip to it. Okay, that got it soldered on there nicely. And we'll do the other one. Okay, that's got my two lugs on there. There we go. Sometimes it can be hard to get these screws started because they kind of have uh, ding the ends of them so they're not, they don't just come out real easy. They're not really intended to come out. Getting these screws back in is always the hardest part. And there you can see we've got good connections with no fraying or anything like that. Then there's usually, this is an old plug that doesn't have, there's usually a little cardboard cover that goes over the top of this. And that's got you going. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.